Welcome to Dude RV. Uh, if this is your first visit, please click on the subscribe button. Right now we're at Walter Humphrey State Park at the Sabine Pass. Now that causeway on the other side, that's Louisiana. And this is Walter Humphrey State Park. But we're done here. If you want to see more about Walter Humphreys, you got to subscribe and go find the Texas State Park playlist. Right now, we're going to load up Little Red and we're going to travel across through Beaumont about a half hour drive. And we're going to go pay a visit to, to Sea Rim State Park. So let's go to Sea Rim State Park. to Sea Rim State Park. And that noise you hear in the background, that is the Gulf of Mexico. That is ocean waves. Site number four, Sea Rim State Park. First off, I'm gonna say the, the sites are pretty level here. And that's a good thing, because the automatic leveling system on Miss V has stopped working. No power. 30, 50, and water. There's not a whole lot of grass, which is making the ratty pack unhappy. It's pretty level. No, there's not any trees. It's a beach site. We have a table a fire ring and the ubiquitous lantern hook. There's one thing you ought to know about Sea Rim State Park. Even in December, the mosquitoes are horrible. Let me walk outside. If you get in the lee of the, the RV, the mosquitoes are just all over the place and they're all inside the RV now because we mistakenly left the, the door open not knowing. All right, so we're going to have a bite of lunch and then we're going to go see some stuff. Sea Rim State Park. One of the main reasons you'd come to Sea Rim is, of course, the beach. The Texas beaches almost all of them are public and you can drive on them
So I'm gonna jump on Little Red. We're gonna go see some stuff. Now the lady at the the front office, she said that uh, the hurricanes have washed away the dunes, have damaged the boardwalk. Doesn't leave it with does not leave us with a whole lot of stuff to visit. Now she did say down the the road a ways there's a, another boardwalk that we can go check out. Let's go see what we can find. It's one of the beach access points. You can actually make reservations here at, at Sea Rim State Park. You can make reservations for a beach campsite. I was going to scoot down on the beach, but I don't think I can get there through the water. Now on the primitive camping side at the end of the park, they had, and I mentioned this just a little bit ago, they did have a boardwalk over here through the marshes where you could experience the marsh life, most notably alligators. But as you can see, the pilings do not have any boardwalk surface on them. So we're not going to get to scoot out there and see any alligators. Of course, I don't know if we'd see any alligators with the weather the way it is right now. Anyway. Let's go see some more stuff. Well, here we are. Little Red is on the beach. pavement kind of soft maybe it'll be better up here I don't know we'll see yeah this is better a lot of seashells <laughs> that's what we're here to do Of course, there's, there's a storm coming in tomorrow, or tonight, and it's supposed to, uh, we're talking about a one inch plus rainfall. All right, we need to go do a FPV scooter tour. We'll zip down, back down the beach. We'll do, we'll do some more of this in a little bit. So at, at Sea Rim State Park, if you don't want to sleep in a tent on the, in the sand and you don't have an RV, they actually have a cabin that you can rent. $90 a night. And she said it's kind of problematic for them these days because of the COVID-19 protocols. Uh, but 
it pretty well stays booked so if you're going to book your visit make sure you book it way out all right more to come all right this is an observation point this, op this is also part of Sea Rim State Park I was hoping to find an alligator for Tom. I guess I'm gonna have that pleasure. All right, time for some lunch. trying out the hyper warp. There are really two distinct different kinds of campsites here at Sea Rim. Those that face the beach and those that face away from the beach. Those that face away from the beach give you some break from the wind. Those that face the beach Skeeters are bad. Put you into the wind. Now at one time, there was a three-story park headquarters building right there with showers and all of that. No more. So apparently, there used to be dunes right there protecting, protecting the park, but the dunes got washed away in another hurricane. So you, you don't need a fishing license to fish here. Because it is, it, you are inside the boundaries of a state park, so you don't need a fishing license. Apparently, you're supposed to report all sea turtles at Sea Rim State Park. That's what the sign says back there, anyway. I found a road. looking for alligators and I haven't seen any I 
don't know, maybe it's the wrong time of year for alligators. Imagine being camped right here and there being alligators in this water. That'd be freaky. And that is Hyper Warp GoPro Hero 9. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> it's very simple to do. To do the Hyper Warp, you put it in time lapse. And when you want to go back to real time, you just push the power button. And when you're ready to resume the hyper warp, you push the power button again. That was fun. People are funny. And here at Sea Ram State Park, as you well know, I came down here to the beach for the sole purpose of getting some time-lapse footage and I, I found a deserted stretch of beach and then and I stopped and these people just came along and I guess they felt it was more secure to stop where I had stopped than to go down any farther Well, that pretty well wraps it up for Sea Rim State Park. In the, in, you know, <laughs> the Gulf of Mexico is not a good place to be swimming in the, at the end of December, January 1. We got, we got weather coming in, the surf is really high, the wind is cold, and it's supposed to start raining. So I'm going to close it out right here so I don't have to worry about that in the rain. If this is your first visit, I sure would appreciate you clicking on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well. If you enjoyed our visit to Sea Rim State Park, I'd appreciate you clicking on that thumbs up and blasting me out across your social media. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm truly honored. Stay tuned. More fun stuff is coming up. Y'all come back now, you hear?